current Mademoiselle Shishi collection featuring bright, summery colors is going with the trend. The label, ranging from smart to sporty designs, features clear-cut lines. But these soft, billowing fabrics are made of an unusual substance, milk. Couture from Cow's Milk was the brainchild of Anka Domaska, the label's founder and designer. She realized that there's more to milk than meets the eye. Milk is underrated because people only view it as a foodstuff. But you can make a lot more from it. Milk is a wonderful natural resource. This is about as exciting as milk products get. These textiles don't smell of milk, by the way, but they do have a lot of interesting properties. The special thing about milk fiber is that it has a lovely silky feel. The fabric falls wonderfully, and it's cheaper than normal silk, but it's also a protein fiber. You can wash it normally, and it's really very easy to care for. Lots of experiments were needed to turn milk into the right kind of fiber. We tested it over many years until we came up with the ideal recipe. It's a bit like experimenting with the ingredients you have in your kitchen cupboard. It's like baking in a way. The mixture is heated and pushed through a press to make threads in a lab near the northern German city of Bremen. The milk used is substandard and would otherwise have been thrown out. A fashion designer who came up with a complicated procedure to create an organic fiber? That sounds unusual, but not for Anka Domaska. Up to now, she has successfully divided her time between fashion and science. She learned how to dress make when she was small. Her great-grandmother, a milliner, taught her how. Then, when she was at school, she won a competition for up-and-coming young scientists. After leaving school, she went to Japan and sold t-shirts that she had designed herself in Tokyo. When she returned to Germany, she started to study microbiology and set up her fashion label Mademoiselle Shishi as well. I've always managed this balancing act between science and fashion quite successfully. I went to university by day and then I traveled back to Hanover and managed my firm in the evening and developed my collection. In 2003, she produced her first collection. She presents her designs at fairs and fashion shows in Japan and Europe, like here in Milan in 2010. Her breakthrough came when well-known actresses were seen wearing her clothes. Her USPR agent communicated the good news. When she saw it on TV, she was really excited and she called me up and said, I think that I've just seen your dress on TV. Misha Barton is wearing it. That's a great feeling. I can't describe it. It gave me a real high. Anka Damaska's milk fiber fashions are found in the best company on the market. Labels with biofibers and seals of approval for sustainability are all the rage. We see milk fiber as an alternative to cotton. The special thing about it is that we can manufacture it without using any pesticides or chemicals, and it only takes an hour to produce. That's very environmentally friendly. It saves resources. Green fashion with a difference. Regular customer Johanna Bednarek is visiting Anka Domaska's showroom in Hanover. She often drops in to buy clothes here because they're so pleasant to wear. The fabric feels really great, almost like silk. In summer, it's really nice if the temperature is going up and down. I think I don't perspire as much. The designs cost between 150 and 200 euros. And because they're proving so popular, Anka Damaska is now planning a milk fiber collection for men. <laughs>